So what is up guys? It's Paul from an Apple fan here and I thought I would talk to you a little bit about the 3100X, 3100 and 3100X and actually I'll, I'll, I'll put it out to you for survey near the end of the video. Whether you want me to get one of them, whether you want me to overclock them because that's what this video is about, overclocking these these chips. It seems very impressive. Now we've, we've seen uh, Intel's launching their i3s yesterday and all that kind of stuff. Uh, y you won't be able to get them for months, right? That's the reality. You won't be able to get them for months. AMD are going to launch these uh, quad cores with hyper threading next month now everybody's talking about getting 1600 afs and that's a better deal as i said before you can't always get them in certain countries i live in europe so i get to check i get to check all of the you know the 20 something countries that make up the european uh, union i can check all of those countries on amazon and all that kind of stuff i can see where you can get them and 1600 afs are either more expensive than 100 dollars, or you just can't get them it's about 120 dollars for me about in dollars about 120 euro for me to get it which is about 130 35 us dollars to get a 1600 af that point i'm probably going to buy a 3600 realistically so when you're talking about a chip that costs 99 us dollars probably going to cost 99 euro here because amd's chips tend to be around the price of msrp in euro as well this is good for people who live in europe which is a 500 million uh person economy it's a pretty big economy that you can talk about uh, selling your chips to so th that's that's good that's a that's a good driving force behind it people uh, you know not every country is exp has a lot of money not everything everything is you know uh uh, you know different countries have different uh you know expenditures but usually tech is around the same price so for a lot of countries um buying a gpu buying a cpu is a big investment but some countries it's even more big events uh, investment so if you take my average salary here the average take home after taxes here taxes are very high here it's about 1600 to 1800 euros it's a lot of money like you know per month um but but at the same time the cost of living here is quite expensive as well so in doing that in saying that and seeing that um my phone is going off uh in doing that and seeing that and saying saying that uh you can see that here you've got disposable income but your disposable income might be nothing because the cost of living here is very expensive and that's the same in all different countries so in terms of these chips they're exciting because if i was somebody who just wanted to game somebody just wanted to buy a 2060 super or a 5600 xt and game these chips will be fine for that they will absolutely be fine for that right if i'm somebody who just wants to buy a 1650 super or you know a 5500 xt or an rx 580 these chips are going to be just fine for that that's what they're there for that's what they exist for those people that are buying them but also want the ipc which will make these chips faster than a 1600 af in gaming and if you don't like that because you're somebody bought a 1600 af i'm sorry but the reality is these these chips not only have four cores which i think is a big bottleneck but they have four cores and eight threads which alleviates some of that frame stuttering and frame pacing you get from having less less cpu cores is it better to have 16 cores probably in some cases right the reality is probably in some cases um the 1700 recently was i think hardware and box did a, did a test on it and 1700 caught up with the, with the 7700k it didn't beat it but it caught up with it but the reality is the 1700 um you can't really buy them anymore and if you could they're probably about 170 180 us dollars these things are 100 us dollars 120 for the higher end one now what i want to try with you guys is, is do you want me to buy one if you do you can tell me by liking the video the more likes i get the more i'm inclined to buy one let's just pick an average number because we did it the last time let's manipulate the youtube algorithm let's say if i get 800 likes in this video i'll buy one of them because we asked for 700 before we got way more than 700 so let's try 800 this time i'm not being like i could say if i get 5,000 likes but realistically, I'll buy one of these. I'll stick it in my own system. I'll stick liquid cooling on it. And we'll overclock it. And we'll see what we can do in terms of overclocking. Because that's all my video content will be. It won't come out on day one. Because it'll take, with the current economic problem going on, it'll take about a week for me to get the chip. So I won't be able to pre-order it and get it on the day of launch. So realistically, it's probably going to take me about a week to get it. And then I'm going to do a proper overclocking tutorial. But what's very impressive about these chips is the, the overclocking numbers I'm seeing quoted. 36 to 3300X seems to get around 4.4 gigahertz. Now, that was the one I was most excited about because um, it has a single CCX with four cores inside of it. And if you know anything about Zen, as I said before, going outside of the CCX tends to introduce latency. So not having that intercore latency means that these chips would probably be very good for gaming. However, they only seem to be doing about 4.4 gigahertz from all of the leaks I'm seeing around the internet, whereas I'm seeing the, you know, clock speed can make up for that latency. 
and I'm seeing the the 3100 reaching 4.5 and 4.6 gigahertz. Now it depends on samples, depends on voltage, and this is what I want to do a video on to tell you whether it's it's worth that. So you, are you putting too much voltage in, and you're going to kill your chip or not? This is the thing that we need to know. Um, so in terms of that, like like from somebody like me, I'd be like, fuck it, I'll put whatever voltage I want. This hundred chip, hundred quid chip, do you know what I mean? And and and, and do that kind of stuff. And I want to thank all my patrons because they make it they make it possible for me buying these chips. So if you want to help me out buying chips for reviews, usually if I buy something, I overclock the balls out. So if you want to help me out do that, you can go over to Patreon, where you get access to my Discord and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so if you want to see me do that, I'll do that. But it's interesting in terms of these these, these clock speeds, four point six gigahertz. If that's true. This is this is lightning fast, and this is not one single core. This is not you know. This is all core overclocking, all core four cores, eight threads, at four point six gigahertz. With a fifteen percent IPC. Let's just do the fucking math. I'll just get the calculator out. Let's get the calculator. The four point six gigahertz. These things run at four point six gigahertz. Four point six. In terms of, you no, know, this is not in terms of gaming because gaming introduces latency, but let's say just a Cinebench score. In terms of what you would get as a Cinebench score, 4.6 gigahertz uh, plus 13% means that you, this, this is the equivalent of, a, of a, an, an <laughs> this is the equivalent of an Intel chip from a 5.2 gigahertz. Like, that's fucking impressive. I don't care what you say, it's impressive. It's very impressive. So you could be looking at these chips outperforming 7700Ks. And it's amazing to think that here in 2020, we're talking about, uh, you know, a hundred quid chip outperforming a chip from two, uh, a 350 quid chip from, from 2017. And here we are in 2020, only three years later, and you've got a hundred quid chip perform, outperforming a chip that was three, 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 three X plus the price of this chip that is insane it's mind-boggling it's mind-numbing it makes no sense at all but this is the reality of, of what amd have brought to the table and then intel thinking they're fucking masters of the universe bring out this i wonder can i find the chart with all of the names of the SKUs and stuff where is it here yeah i think i found it here in wccf tech here we go right like like and these are crate prices by the way as well you're talking about like this this is the ice i i3 it's got no overclocking support all that kind of stuff it's only it's doing 4.4.3 gigahertz on all cores it's 122 dollars that's a great price so it's probably going to be more like 130 and they're probably not going to get any of them like this is 150 dollars realistically 160 dollars it's got 4.4 gig like, like like is that exciting when you're talking about uh amd's chips like yes their their boost frequency is lower but by all intents and purposes, if these things overclock the way they overclock, this could be something that somebody could sit down and have a play with, have a bit of an enjoying time, get a beer while you're doing it, knock out two hours of overclocking and come out with a chip that's beating an i7 7700K from three years ago. This is exciting to me. I've, I love this stuff because I love free performance. That's the reality of what I, I love. And it kind of... Uh, it says something to me. I'm like, why didn't they just push the clock speeds a little bit higher on these? They don't want to cannibalize their own. Like, because the reality is, depending on the game, this is just depending on the game. Like, if you're playing League of Legends, you're playing, um, you know, if you're playing, uh, um, CS:GO or something like that. Depending on the game, this could be faster than the 3600. That's the reality. Probably won't be faster than like a, a forty, uh, like a, a 3900 x or something, because that has you know that increased boost clock. It's getting itself up there into the into the four point six gigahertz on a single thread anyway, four point seven on the thirty nine fifty x. So it probably won't be that. But this this is this is actually looking like a good gaming CPU, and the price for me is right at a hundred dollars. Like that is a good price. Now if you don't want to overclock there's options out there as well in terms of even lower boards that you can put these on and they'll draw fuck all power so you don't have to worry about the vrm you're putting these into so when you look at these and they're overclocking numbers and um, whether they're true or not i don't know but you're looking at times by numbers of these things beating 7700ks that's the reality these things are beating 7700ks in time spy now i don't know whether 7700k was overclocked 5 gigahertz we know that 7700k did 5 gigahertz across all cores so we shall see it all remains to be seen but 4.6 gigahertz for me for my own numbers yeah it would it would it we, we, we could be talking about this thing in cinebench right we'll see we'll see when we get it my non hyper threaded 1200 got about 600 points in cinebench so you could be talking about these things getting up around 1100 points in Cinebench 
to, to give you an example, a six core, 12 threaded stock, tw uh, 30, oh, sorry, uh, 1600 did about 1200 points in Cinebench. I think my, my 2600 did about 13, 1400 stock, 1300, I think, stock in Cinebench or 15. So these with four cores and eight threads could be doing up to 1000 to 1100 in Cinebench. We shall see when I get it and tinker around with it if you press that like button. But, it, you know, we shall see. We shall see. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. Short video today. Um, also, I want to talk about, um, I'm probably going to do a live stream on Sunday. It'll be uh, probably around 5 GMT. It might be on for two hours. It might be on for an hour and a half. Remember, I'm doing these live streams to answer all your questions, give you as much help as you can, as I can. If you want to ask me any questions, you can ask me any questions. There's no requirement to give a donation at all. Just do them. But I'm doing them to try and fund uh, my editor's editing PC. So any donations go directly to my editor's editing PC. I'm going to be doing one a week. So I'll be doing one on Sunday. Uh, we'll see what the numbers are on Sunday. Um, if anybody has a preferable time or whatever, just hit me up in the comments. We'll see what, what you know. But it'll be 5 GMT. So 5 uh, Greenwich Mean Time. So that's about 11 uh, on the, I want to say the east coast of the united states if you're from the us and you know europe will know a 5 gmt is in their own time time zone so um yeah that'll be like four so i think that's kind of the, the, the a cool time to have it at anyway uh don't forget to like it if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it but if you disliked it tell me why you disliked it you can't fix it if i don't know what i did wrong and in the comments let me know number one do you want me to buy one of these chips number two what que you can ask me questions for the live stream you can preempt some questions that'd be nice to have some questions preempt preempted i'm 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 willing to talk about like i'll probably have a title of things that you probably sent me discord members can send me discord questions as well um but uh yeah you can get access to my discord by going to my patreon but uh yeah you, you can if if you want to do that you can do that and i will shout you out and I'll, I'll hit you up with the answers to your comments um on the live stream um but yeah you can ask me anything you want at all uh, but I'll probably like I'll probably be talking about like there's a lot of lot of news this week so I'll probably be recapping the news maybe that's what I'll do all the time is recap the news give some further information answer any questions people had on on things I did on in videos during that week and so on and so forth anyway don't forget to like comment share subscribe sharing is a way to help me out the most like and really helps me out as well and I'll talk to you in the next one I'm gonna press this button to stop recording and if you want to do merch I have merch as well I'll talk to you in the next one bye 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 bye